Hello theme park enthusiasts, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. In the last episode, we finished up Miss Ellie's diner. Now we're going to work on Gold Mine Tower. Some poor fella bought this mine from a prospector and took out some big loans to pay for it. Turns out it was a scam. The varmint had salted the mine. Now he's trying to turn it into a tourist attraction with some fireworks he was given in Old West style streets, but it's not doing as well as he'd hoped, and he needs your help. Alright, so since we're losing money to begin with, let's go ahead and pause. Now, I have played through this before in the past, so I know that one of the big things here is money. Money is a major issue. And part of it is because of the fireworks display that is over here. It's a really cool fireworks display, along with a really cool train ride that goes through this area. But because of it, it really gobbles up the money. We have some empty areas here, back here, and over here. And if I recall correctly, the main thing in this episode, or in this challenge is going to be building roller coasters. So let's take a look. Build a coaster, build a coaster, track 600 guests, build a coaster, build a coaster, track 900 guests, build a coaster, build a coaster. So yeah, it's all about the coasters really. So, first thing I'm going to do though is not going to be building a coaster because I need to put in some rides to get people in and into the park and enjoying the place. What I'm going to do is actually put in two uh, track rides. They're going to be already pre-built track rides, but these things really bring the guests into the park. And I find that really helps out with the finances, which will then help with these other parks. So, let's take a look at the challenges, though. Build a coaster with at least five excitement, at least four fear, a length of at most 2,461 feet, at most three inversions, and with a total monthly profit of at least $1,000. Second one is at least four excitement, at most three nausea, a length of at most 2,461 feet, at least four inversions, with a total monthly profit of $1,000. So what I like to do with this one, or I did the last time, and I want to do again, is I want to put in a dueling coaster here. One's going to have four inversions, one's going to only have three. And it'll be pretty simple to set that up so that they work together in tandem. But so that's what we're going to be tackling first as far as the coasters. Before that though, as I said, we need to take care of the other things in this park. First of all, let's look at our staff. Right now we have one mechanic. <laughs> we're going to need some other people in this park, obviously. Let's start with having a janitor. Yes, we will need a janitor. That's going to be important. Let's see, do we have anything here besides the train? We only have the train. Let's take a look at the train. Train is rated at 1033 as far as prestige. So I wanna make sure that that price is making me as much money as possible. So let's put the price at $30 for this instead of 25. And we will take a ride on that definitely here in this episode. Next, let's go ahead and put in the steam train ride, or the steam car ride here as it is. It's gonna go somewhere over here. Gonna put it down and then sort of reorganize it. Ah. Never mind, I won't be doing that. Getting this ride set up properly here is a very important thing to me because this is going to be where a lot of my money comes from. Yep. 
rid of these bushes over here as far as moving with it. And then let's move this whole thing. Probably coming close to the area there, but not actually into it. There we go. Again, make sure that everything is okay. And basically, I'm going to have to adjust this whole thing somewhat to make this work. Because I do want it looking very believable. I don't want it looking like garbage. All of that's taken care of there. I do wish the game had sort of more of a landscape, uh, how do I put this? Basically, that it would recognize how the landscape is and sort of mold itself to the landscape. So it would do the things that I'm doing right now without me having to go through and move each individual piece for it. It would just be a lot nicer that way, make a lot of sense, but... I can see where it could be very, very challenging as well. So I can't complain too much about that. That I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave. Don't want free floating bushes though. Move the piping so that it's in the ground. Go ahead and duplicate this piece. Yeah, you know what? That one's just going to be up above the ground. No, I don't want that. I want the light.
All right, let's move this out of the way. Try that again. This out of the way. So this can go into the ground. No floating bushes. A lot of the other stuff will be covered up here, so I'm not too worried about it. And in fact, let's just make it daylight so it's a bit easier to see for me right now. This is a night park, so that's something I need to consider. Ooh, and I did not realize that that was into the mountainside there. That I'm not too thrilled about. All right. Let's go ahead and put these pieces Down like that. You can see why this ride's so popular because of the sheer quantity of things that it has on it. It is a very visually appealing ride. So the people do love it. And as I said, I really need the money that this is going to generate so that way I can work on my coasters. Let's see here if I can just get these. Without that. Nope. Alright. Let's just go ahead and do this. This and this. There we go. That works out alright. And let's go ahead and do this, 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 this. Right, let's do those to start with. those just sitting like that. You know what? Maybe if I did this piece here. That's good. Done. Alright, that light is there. Now I need to... Because I can't edit terrain. I need to see if I can get... This whole thing...
and then not. These trees and such over here. So that piece of track is now free. This post is now colliding here, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I can accept that. Alright. We are going to then make this... We have some old timey music. Let's go with L Townsville for this. See how that works out. We need like 10 cars here. We're gonna fully load those bad boys up. And we need this thing checked every 10 minutes. All right, now we need to place the entrance and, or put in the paths here. All right, we're gonna go with a wood. Basically, I want a place for that other there. I want the exit to be pretty much right off of there, just as fast as possible. But the entrance path. gonna have go down Ooh. why can I not go through there All right. let's go ahead and build this first
let's put this in here. Got that all set up. We have our first ride in place. Actually, it already is in the ground, so we'll go with that. I'm alright with the look of that overall. Uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put the exit over here somewhere. So, same type of thing we just did in the last section there. Let's go ahead and put this. We immediately want it to go up. And actually, you know what? We'll just go right over the fence. We won't even have to worry about the fence. You know what? Let's go ahead and delete some of this. Let's have it go by the old church here. So that we get all this uh, bonus for the theming over here. Now we've even got a little uh, cemetery there. Looks like some possible streamers' names on it. There we go. Those are set up. That item is locked. All right, good to know. But you know what? I still want to put things into these buildings. I'm not going to be able to on that one. Are these locked as well? This item is locked.
There we go. Now it's part of the building. So the general store is our information. That'll work out fine. I definitely need some benches along the way here because this is a lot of walking people are doing. So let's go with the western fine benches. I still want to try to set up a bathroom in here, and I think I'm going to be able to. Why can I not set it up in there? so frustrating. Alright. Well, we won't put that there. Let's get rid of that. We've got this theming here. You know what I might do is put in a ride over here at a point. Just to have a ride over in this area. But we'll see. Right now I've got these two rides going. They're going to be Big money makers, I hope, for me. Uh, does this one need to test before it can open? Yes, it does. Jailer's Den needs to test. Does Steam need to test? Yes, it does. Alright. So let's switch it back to the nighttime that it's supposed to be. Get those two testing. See how they do. And hopefully get some more people into our park here fairly soon. the uh, fireworks display. It is a very beautiful fireworks display. It is also probably costing me an enormous amount of money. So we were at about $4,000. We'll see what we are after the display goes off. I do like that it is with music to it and everything. As I said, one of the designers really spent some money, or some time, I mean, putting together this little display. Yeah, I think they did a great job. Sort of redneck Disneyland. <laughs> Alright. So, that went off. Jailer's Den's ready to go. Those two rides are coming online now, so that's a good thing. And let's go ahead and take a ride on this train. Once it's back in the station, no reason to see it part way.
All right. So we'll go ahead and ride this ride here. While well, they are getting people on it, I do need to put this to every 10 minutes to be inspected because otherwise it is going to break down pretty badly on me. I like the way it overlooks the water and the fact that we haven't had a lift hill yet. This is all being done just with the, uh, was just being done with the momentum of going uh, from the station. I really like that as a start to the ride. Makes it a bit more interesting. Then we get this lift hill sort of part way through. Buildings are sort of like haphazard here. Not exactly sure what their idea was with that, but as I said, I do like the overall feel of the ride. Nice big drop here. Head chopper moment, very cool. course brake run so that way you can launch the other train then up into the station really nicely done all right last thing before I end this episode let's go ahead and check these as far as their prestige and such make sure that we're making the money we need to on them okay they are making they are high prestige items, so need to make sure that we've got the cost according to that. So at 11.54, I could charge $34.50. I'm not gonna charge that much, but we are gonna charge 30 bucks for it. There we are. And then how about this one over here? Oh, it's even higher. 1319 So I could charge $35 for this pretty easy. All right. Also make sure this one's being inspected every 10 minutes. Perfect. And let's get at least one more janitor here or one more mechanic. What we're going to do is we're going to separate things into different sections here. So, uh, let's go with work rosters, create a new roster, and the first roster is going to be basically... The entrance area. So we'll have this as park entrance. We'll save that work roster. And we'll have one of our mechanics be on park entrance. Then we're gonna have a second work roster that is going to be the island. The island. We'll have our other mechanic basically stationed on the island. And then same thing here, we'll have one janitor by the park entrance. We'll have another one that's going to be on the island. And then we're going to have an entertain. well, not going to worry about an entertainer yet. Do need a security guard though, so let's get him out there. 
Actually, let's get two security guards, and we're going to have one in each area as well. Just to maintain some security. Perfect. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and pause for a moment here. We're going to go to this. going to enable the priority pass, place the priority pass entrance, say here, place the priority pass exit, whoop, place the entrance up here, my bad, and the exit, over there, connect the two of them, So that is now set up, and that ride is good to go. We'll go over to the uh, Jailer's Den here. Do the same thing. As I said, the point of these is really to generate some serious cash flow because building these coasters is going to take quite a bit. That should now be open again. It is. And let's go over here to the roller coaster. There's no really good place for me to put in a priority pass area. Except for maybe here. Thread this between two fireworks. Trying to get these uh, line up here is a little bit harder than I would like, but that's all right. Alright. 
Alright, had to have a little bit of stairway in there, but that's alright. So we have a priority pass there. Make sure that the entrance is still open, which it is. Perfect. We've got a bench there. Is there anywhere where I could put like a stall of some kind over here? Not a lot of room on this island. They've packed in a lot as it is already. Where's the exit to the station? Exit is right there. Maybe something right here? No, not really. Alright, so... I might just put it toward the end here. Sort of did for a second there. Alright. Can I delete this? I cannot. So if I wanted to put that in, I'm going to have to have it glitch through that. Which I'm really not a fan of. Talking about glitching through. Uh, what about putting in just pathway? Put pathway here. That's going to be right on to the fireworks. Oh, let's see. Okay, I can do that. Somehow I've screwed up my controls here. All right. Do not want to go in at a fast pace. Uh, now let's see here. Definitely I'm going to need a ATM. I do not know why my controls are moving so slowly right now.
On top of that, I have it where I'm going up and down instead of side to side the way I want them to. So, going to have to fix my controls here. But what I'm thinking about doing is putting in a little area over here, like a ATM, a restroom, and maybe a food and drink stall, just so that I have some stuff over here. But I think I'll go ahead and do that in the next episode. Uh, as I said, I need to fix the controls and such. So that that way... Well, now they're behaving properly. Alright. But still, I'll do that in the next episode. Might be something with the mountain that causes that control issue. For now, though, we'll leave it at this. Seems like we've got a good amount of people going into our different rides here, which is good. I'm also going to set up probably some food, drinks, and toiletries over in this area. In between this and the next episode just to get these things set up for the guests and then in the next episode when we actually do start the video we're going to start expanding over to this area and we're going to put in as i said that dual uh dueling coaster over there we'll probably make it an rmc so that way we can have the inversions and have a nice wooden coaster for the park so with all of that in mind if you enjoyed what we did in this episode please go ahead and click that like button and if you've not already please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so they're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for the next episode of Planet Coaster.